This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. November is recognized as National Sports Heritage Month, and this year the Golden Girls are expected to get their just due as we celebrate the 15th anniversary of their win in the women's 4x1 relay at the 2000 Sydney Olympics. We are now going to open up and name properly and mark out properly their land and their holdings in an estate-style fashion. Um, I'm hoping that we get the consideration of the federations and cabinet to name this subdivision up on the hill behind Traveler's Rest, Olympic Heights. Olympic Heights. Uh, it will really be a place where in the future any Bahamian winning a gold medal um, will be able to reside in that particular community um, and anyone reaching the tip tip top of their sport um, will, will have consideration uh, for such an honor. Oreo Wood Knowles throwing out the ceremonial first pitch last night as the Nepalvin Softball Association got underway with his best of five championships, which are being held in honor of her late husband. Colin Stroppy Knowles was an icon in softball over the years who coached a number of teams. He has been an executive in the Bahamas Softball Federation and the Nepalvin Softball Association who passed away early this year. From the opening, it was on to Game 1 of the Ladies' Championship between the Johnson Truckers and the Stingers. This one ends in favor of the Truckers by a final of 11-7. to They came out tonight, and they came to play. It was a good game. The score was tied early in the game. But then a weekend went ahead by one run, and we was able to score some more runs. Then I have to get my hats off to my pitcher, Valencia. Valencia has carried us all through the season. I think she needed a break. That's when I pull up. We need to cut, just cut down on those little defensive mistakes. It's the easy outs that were hurting us, and that's how they really got the run. They hit the ball, not taking that away from them. A little frustrated. Uh, once I relax a little more, I think um, I'll pitch a little more better than I pitch tonight. I expect anything to happen on any given night. Regular season, playoff championship is who won it the most, and you got to have hard. On to the men's feature game now, and the truckers kept up their winning ways. This time, it was the commando security truckers taking care of the BTC Elite Warriors by an identical 11-7 scoreline. The first one is always important, you know, that set the tone for the, the games to come. Uh, Thomas pitched a good game. Our offense was somewhat okay, kind of, you know, lo lost it in the first inning. Uh, the umpire called in a bunch of uh, uh, balk illegal pitch, and um, that allowed them to get some momentum. Um, we came back, but uh, we just couldn't pull it together. But it's a long series. Only game one. Um, Warriors with the pen and winners, and uh, they'll respect us after this uh, championship is over. They said, but Telco is unstoppable. Not the truckers, actually, we came in as the underdogs, you know, but we come, you know, to show them that uh, the truckers are still here, old, whatever they call us, but we're going to be the victim no matter what. The Andrews Softball Association has already crowned its ladies' champion, and the Navigators are headed back to the Bahamas Softball Federation's round robin. Four times in a row, can you? Think, can you imagine any team doing that? Mm -hmm. None, mm -hmm. but the Navigators did it, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm elated. What was the series for you guys? The series was a breeze. Mm -hmm. There's no competition here. I don't know if I should say that, but that's the way I feel. Mm -hmm. There's no competition. That's why we made it here again. How do you feel now heading into the round robin nationals? Each year coming close and close and close and close. Now you have the experience. <laughs> the big dance, the big dance. I got on the wrong shoes, but we're going to be the last team on that floor. Mm -hmm. Come round robin. What do you think it's going to take for you guys to, to play much better than you did last year and get in that final round? Well, last year we came third. This year we, we're going for first place this mm -hmm. time. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to change our batting strategy. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do also is to just put God first, play our game, mm -hmm. and we're going to come out on top. Still in the big yard, the Danny Pratt South Andrews High School basketball tournament will get underway tomorrow, and all roads lead to Kemp's Bay. We have made our repairs to the court. We have a number of teams already confirmed, the housing, transportation, everything is arranged. We're just waiting for the day. The Bahamas Weightlifting and Powerlifting Federation will put on its national championships at the Circle Mall in Freeport, Grand Bahama on Saturday. Chris McQueen has been training Leslie White and he says they've definitely put in the work to get the job done. 
He'll focus on a bench one day, and then the next day he'll do some deadlifts, and the next day he'll do some squats. So he'll break it up to train different muscle groups to strengthen those areas so you don't wear the body out too much. But in the competition, you have to do or three lifts uh, after each other to, to build up your points. So um, with the competition and training in the gym, it's, it's kind of different because it's a one-shot deal in the competition. The Central and Southeast Bahamas have a long way to go in order to return to a state of normalcy following the passage of Hurricane Joaquin. Long Island took a big hit and being one of the powerhouses in local sloop sailing, some of their neighbors from Exuma made sure to check up on the sailors and their fleet. I went to Long Island um, the day after the storm passed, so the Sunday, take some relief supplies and I saw quite a bit of damage, particularly with the uh, fishing vessels, um, a lot of them up on the shore. Uh, a couple of them destroyed, um, but I didn't. I, I haven't heard anything about uh, the sailing boats per se. So it seems that most of them uh, may still be in good shape. I spoke to Eugene Marie, and all the boats seem to be pr in pretty good shape. You know, not much damage. Certainly, there there needs to probably a little bit of repairs here and there. But all the boats seem to be you know pretty safe. And I was concerned about that, and that's why I called. I'm going up there next week to really do a personal survey and look at all the boats and see what perhaps, you know, damage occurred and maybe to see how we can help, you know, in some way or the other. We have more tonight on the Public Service Volleyball Tournament, which gets underway on Friday at the Kendall Isaacs Gym. Julian Gibson originally took on the role of head coach of our team here at ZNS. However, due to a work commitment off the island, he will no longer be able to serve in that function, in that capacity that is, but before leaving town, he had one final message. I want to put the Bahamas on notice. I've been listening to the radio and watching the TV. I hear, I hear all the different uh, government agencies, the Defense Force, say they're coming for ZNS. The Defense Force, your business in the sea, man. Your business in the sea protect our borders. There's no protection on the volleyball court for you guys against ZNS. We have the best player on the planet, bar none, Kelsey Johnson, national team player, national team, the number one player in the Bahamas. So all you agencies like teachers and tourism and civil aviation, you went up against Kelsey and Benson. I forgot, Jonathan Benson, also national team player. As for yours truly, uh, unfortunately, whilst you guys playing, I'll have to work. I'll be in South Angeles for the high school basketball tournament. But in my command, I'm leaving Charles Leonard Fisher in charge of the team. He'll be assisted by my better half, Opal Roach. She's a very aspiring volleyball player. She's going to do good. And you're all wasting your time. You know, you all can't beat sadness. You know, we number one. People see us all the time. We deliver. We all over the Bahamas. You're just in your little pockets. Immigration here, tourism here, teachers here. But then that's we all over. And we can be all over the volleyball court, mashing y'all up, spiking y'all. Oh, that Julian Gibson. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight comes back after the break. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.